May 1st, 2006. After 27 months of construction, the Intercontinental Resort and Talasso Spa opens on the French Polynesian island of Bora Bora. It is the first and only one using deep seawater for hotel cooling. Geographic isolation and the high cost of energy called for creative problem solving. Naturally, when we decided to build a new hotel in Bora Bora, we started looking for alternative sources of energy. The answer would come from a well-known but unexpected source. I knew Marlon Brando in the last few months of his life, and one of the systems that he would tell me about was this deep water system. Brando would eventually put Richard Bailey in touch with the Hawaii-based Common Heritage Corporation. When the world started running into an energy crisis, they started looking at alternatives that had not been explored before. And they looked at a very old alternative called OTEC, or Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion. If we wanted to air condition the building, we could do it one of two ways. Use OTEC electricity for ordinary air conditioning, and air condition the building, or we could take the deep ocean water, run it through a little heat exchange, put a fan behind it, and cool it with the cold of the deep ocean water. We found out that the energy difference between those two ways of approaching is 100 to 1. The principle is simple. Frigid deep seawater is brought to the surface and used as a natural climate control system. The seawater flows through a heat exchanger, which transmits the cold into a freshwater circuit and is then returned to the ocean. The fresh water then carries the cold to ventilation units, which provide air conditioning throughout the property. Deep seawater technology is a tremendous breakthrough in environmental protection. Less noise, reduced carbon dioxide emissions, one of the leading causes of global climate change, not to mention a notable reduction in energy consumption, the equivalent of the electricity produced by 660,000 gallons of fuel oil per year. This translates to a 90% savings in electricity consumption compared to that of a conventional cooling system. The section of pipe from 200 to 500 feet deep is draped across the void to prevent excessive bending and stress. It is hurricane tested and subjected to extreme current simulations. Another breakthrough technical innovation is the return water's concentric pipe it's designed for additional protection and thermal insulation. The pipe sections are weighted down with concrete. They are now ready for assembly. So we had to pick the, the most important part of, of this deployment, other than the actual tension, was the picking the right weather window in order to take it out through the channel and out into the ocean. And it was about an uh, 18 kilometer trip. Uh, we're trying to be real careful at this point. We didn't want to do any damage to the pipe. It sinks just like a wave. So once it's sunk and there's water in the pipe, we can, we can release that water stop where the crane is holding. Final checks are conducted before the first tests of the system. One last dive. It's a go. Pumps on. Here comes the water. All the way from the depths of the ocean, reading the converter at a cool 5 degrees Celsius. The cooling system works beyond anyone's expectations. So far, we're extremely satisfied. We're saving uh, our target of two-thirds of our electricity consumption from the system. I met Dr. John Craven, and I heard about his technology and thought it was very exciting, but not until I saw it in place. You know, the way that Dick Bailey has put it into, into use there in Bora Bora, how good that is for the environment, and most importantly, as he will tell you, how much money he's saving. I know that Marlon would be very pleased to know how well it's working. Tahiti has found it. They've now installed this pipe. We know we want to put this out as an exemplar of what ought to be part of the evolutionary path which brings environmentally sustainable habitats to all of the world's island nations. Intercontinental Resort and Talasso Spa Bora Bora. It's a new resort 
and it's a new way of doing business environment community guest capital all win together this is the essence of the Tahiti beachcomber philosophy today an example tomorrow a guiding principle Thank you.